It's me. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, is this thing on? Never, I've never done that before. Yeah, what's up? You know, I got up, I got up and kind of just, you know, after yesterday, I'm like, man, I'm just gonna, I just want to play this game more. You know, and kind of get away with that for like a week and a half, kind of. So, eh, for like a week, so I'm just gonna play this game more today. Should be fun. Should do a lot of stuff. I got like multiple objectives to do in this game and stuff. Do it. Oh, I might. You guys get sound, but the way I have sound set up is different for me. There you go. You guys can hear it. But yeah, I think I'm going to play this game for a while tonight. Like, I started early because I just want to play this game, you know, starting now. Probably still end my stream similar time I did yesterday. Actually, I guess an hour earlier. But yeah, I don't know what I'll do about eating, though. I guess I'll have to throw something in the oven or something. Not eat. Just play the game, dude. Sounds like a great idea. Alright, yeah, I was here last time. I was trying to do hide-and-seek, but apparently I looked it up. The hide-and-seek is with Impa's house. This is what I was hoping it wasn't. Hmm? Oh. Step inside. Hey, again. Hey, look, there's all sorts of stuff here. Please, hurry inside. Alright, time to not hurry inside. Time to not. Let's go down here. This is where the hide and seek- I had to look it up. To be sure. This is where the hide and seek happens. Mushrooms. I worry about this. What is this even? Alright. Let's go in now. All the ladies in this town. So you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? I don't. I don't remember Impa. It was an old game since Ocarina time, but I haven't played through any of those.
Uh, she only says one sentence in English. However, these words. What is this? Where all my life with me today? Near where the village's spirit protector resides. There's two shrines near it. Thanks for letting me know. It becomes by a new oxen arrow for me. Someone wants a firefly? If I has an heirloom, a sword or something. Okay, there's no next page. The fairy fountains by two shrines. Stuff here. Don't be a fool. Understand. Come back when you're ready. Auntie Pura. Dude, she's the leader of the uh, Yaga, isn't she? Alright, well, I can't really move on in the game story. Are you t telling me that I, like, have to move on in the story if I do this, or what? Oh, I gotta charge my gamepad. Family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the gods. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most ah. powerful monsters little threat to the denizens of the realm. Which Zelda game is this? The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. They 
constructed for a mechanical one. Uh, the same thing the king told me to as the divine beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called guardians. The divine beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Then Ganon became an elite hacker. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. I already knew all that. In the end. Free the four divine beasts. information on these this doesn't even sound like a sentence someone would say it's like a game tip thing more information about these divine beasts can be found by locating four races scattered across hyrule go find them now Go to Hateno Lab. Oh. What about that heirloom? Can I hit this? It doesn't exist. It's not real. Got it. Oh well, I guess that comes later. Alright, so back to back to wandering around, huh? Sit here and do the hide and seek. Alright, so I know I need to go towards Korak Forest to get the slot upgrade, Maraca guy. I need to go to these five different places for this main quest. Of course, unlock like every tower. The thing I can do.
do hide and seek. Uh, now that I know where you are. If there's somewhere that I haven't looked, I can look. Somewhere here? I guess I can turn on the shrine detector. It's supposed to be over here somewhere. The heckle? Hiding too good. The hide and seek um land champion is what I'm going against. Teams. He's somewhere around here. Can we get on top of the house? No. What the heck? whole fish. Why <laughs> don't you just slip on that? Where is the kid? It is somewhere. I gotta look it up. I'm sorry. I know I'm cheating. What is it? I think I just googled hide and seek. Yeah, hide and seek. Breath of the Wild with Katla. But not on rainy days. Ah, oh, heck. on the porch, but it can't be raining. Why does it let me do the thing, then? Doesn't make any sense. He isn't actually hiding in rainy days, so we have to wait another day. We don't even, like, get anything for this, really. Turn on the shrine locator and go around here at some point. My cuckoos. So we gotta go chicken hunting? What a side quest. This one of them are all the chickens is. <laughs> okay, so we do throw them back. So the one that I threw out, I shouldn't have. That's okay. Let's actually glide with this chicken this time. Ah, 
That was so fun. Okay, well, I don't know. Okay, that's two. Oh, there's a chicken. Can we just shoot this one down? We get to this one. This is how we do it. Where are we going? Oh heck. Okay. I'm gonna be pissed if it was like up there and I couldn't get it. Three. That was probably one of the more hidden ones. Okay, there's one in the roof of this. That would be... Insane. Any of them could be on a roof. I think there's one like at the entrance of the village. No, there's one. We have to get in there somehow without getting caught. Well, it's time to figure out this one. How do we get the plums? Or do we just jump in even though she's like, I guard this. Actually doesn't mean anything. Hello? Okay, we can at least like push him around by colliding with him. There's only one more now. What's up, Austic? Right, how many is this? Only nine, dude. Oh, there's one. Only one of them was really well hidden. I guess it's nice. Maybe. Yeah. Alright. Alright, I guess let's go out these other exits. 
But should I pay for internet? Kind of a weird question. That's that's especially weird for me to answer. Um I don't specific I don't specifically pay for it. You'd say it's bundled. Yeah, why why do you ask? I'm trying to uh Figure out how much you should pay. Hold up, let me do something. of a strange fountain. Wait, where did he say it was? He's not gonna say. It's by two of the shrines around here, but... I'm gonna go sit by the fire, except that the fire went out. Not quite sure. There's this fire, I guess. How much do I think it costs? Oh good, another red moon. So if you sleep through the night and try to skip it. Like hey, by the way, all these enemies respawn. I was wondering if that could be a thing. If you could just skip a night, and you would never have to worry about the blood moon. Alright, well I guess time to figure out where these other pathways go. This one goes into the mountains. Aw, oh, heck. Well, let me go ahead and put on the sneaky pants. Armor in this game's weird. I gotta sacrifice looks for utility. Oh yeah. Them legs. Oh, instantly after one day, the chickens are already out. Okay, this goes into this area. Hmm. That's an that's a new area, but uh two shrines are right in front of me to go to, but also looks kinda one way. What is all this? I guess basically if you want, you can just jump off and go to these shrines. There's a new hammer. I could use that. Maybe that's what these are for? No.
What the heck? Didn't know that was a move in the game. That's a one-way exit. I think if I go up the top, that's where the fountain is. Asking because when you're downloading right now, your download speed is 0.5 megabits. Aw oh, dang. Yeah, internet speeds is very... Like, depending on where you live and the internet infrastructure and stuff. Like, you could be in one part... The United States, you could be in one part of the United States and get, like, only crap internet. You have to pay probably the same amount as like mediocre internet somewhere else. I guess when I say mediocre internet, the uh, like 0.3 upload. I can't think of megabits. Like 1.5 to 2 megabytes download. Yeah, can you even watch the stream? Yeah, you can watch the stream with that because it's 0.2. Megabits is my sh upload for the stream. Yeah, internet. Internet stuff, internet infrastructure stuff like that kind of sucks when you think about it in most places. At least in the United States, I know. Associating most places with the US. Look at this mushroom. This looks like a brand new area too. The big old open field. Let's see what's over here. Some more horses. Big old open field. Oh, okay, it's like, why is there something like that? Didn't watch, but that's all you can do. You know, with my internet, I can have... I mean, 0.5 download, yes. Not fun for streaming video. That's kind of why, like, especially that kind of stuff sucks because everyone watches streaming video nowadays. Oh, hi. Don't jump at these guys, got it. I've never seen a giant guy like these before. Drives you crazy? Yeah, just not... Having slow internet drives me crazy, but... What is this? Is that the stable I've already been to? I don't think it is. Oh, it is. The shrine right up here. I guess we'll try to go to it if I can. Straight up the mountain. I 
many mountains. All this high ground to explore. One megabits second is enough for you, but like the hardest difficulty. No, no, faster the better, you know. Maybe one day, internet will just be treated like a utility. And fast internet will get put everywhere. Here in America, for some reason, the government did a thing, or just in like boondocks, middle of nowhere areas, they put. Fast fiber for everyone to use. Suburbs and cities, though? Doesn't make any sense. Why did you put that there? <laughs> Gotta be something up here. a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of shrines that way. There's the other village I'm supposed to go to. You can see it from here. The tower on the way to it, conveniently. Where was I going? Oh, I need to go towards this one. Usually there's some cool fountain where there's two shrines. Oh man. Well, sounds like you're having inconsistency problems, but. Is it just your own internet or are you sharing with people? That's another that's another challenge of the future. Figure out how to handle homes where everyone's watching Netflix in gaming or whatever. All right. Hmm. I don't know what to think of all this mountain area. It feels just like empty space. I wonder what's under this rock. I gotta find the guy that takes those seeds. I looked it up and got spoiled, but... Apparently he doesn't actually go straight to the forest he's talking about. He goes, like, to stables. Then he goes to the forest. This might be the fountain talking about. I'm not really sure. Alright, have a good one. I mean, I guess you can't hear it, because... Probably. By the time it gets done buffering, I'm still talking about something else. 
At least I have a good one. This shrine. Maybe it's talking about towards this area? Probably just up the mountain. Go down and do some Minecraft. Ooh, there's a little cave over there, it looks like. Minecraft. Go ahead and mark this cave. And... I guess I'll just remember it's there. It looks like we climbed down to it or something anyways. The bone graveyard. It's the elephant graveyard from Lion King. If we can go ahead and activate that tower, that tower is pretty close, but it's always all sorts of jank by towers. Seems. How do I get this one, though? I don't know where this cave is in relation where I am now. I think it's on the bottom-ish. I have no idea where I'm going. I feel like I'll be able to climb back if I go this way. Yeah, that's why I wanted to mark where the cave was. The cave is not down here. remember where that cave is now. That's why I wanted to be able to mark it. Is It was over here somewhere, huh? All the way down here. Oh, I'm jumping. I'm doing it. I think I can get back. Really? Heck off. Oh, you can't blow him away. The problem.
Okay. I see. I can't see the cave now. That's why I wanted to be able to mark it. I should have marked it. I have no idea where it is now. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we are getting very close to this tower. But it's only a bomb door. Probably just a chest. Oh, okay. Or not. Mate clothing? What? Yeah, I thought there would probably be crafting in this game. Minecrafting. Rusty broadsword. Do I need it? Rusty Broadsword is super weak, isn't it? Definitely should have just got another weapon slot. That was a good little cave. Fox. I don't know if it's a good idea to try to go to this tower. It is very close, but look at all the stuff around it. It looks pretty dangerous, too. Like, you have to infiltrate that base in order to get to the top. I don't think I'm up to it. Too close to Ganon, you know. Yeah, it like looks close, but it's actually, it's like it's so close, but it's so far. Like, I can see it, but, uh, not that close. I love how there's a tower right, right next to it. A mountain. Now I know I think the thing on the mountain is a guardian. It's a Basoptron. They're changing, is that the new Twitch RPG? They're changing up the crunchy roll emote, huh? A person? Oh, that's a fox. Or did it always have the chick eating? I thought it was just the... Did it change? I thought I didn't have the food before. Guess right now, right now's a good time to be spoiler free because I'm not doing anything in the story for a little while.
I don't know. I didn't I didn't watch the game because I also just didn't want the gameplay itself revealed too much. You know, that type of spoiler. Type of spoiler you don't think about. I've already been here. Is that the fairy fountain? Can't be, it's not close enough. Too bad it's night. Too bad I can't just make a fire anywhere and wait until morning. The sun's about to come out in the game, though. Hopefully. Can I heal my extra heart, or do I have to earn it back? That yellow one is. Not recover any more hearts. Okay. That solves that one. Yeah, I don't know where this fairy fountain is. Ain't over here. Yeah, that's the town. I think it might be the top of the waterfall. That would make the most sense to me. The shrine on top of that. That looks hard to get to. Oh, hello. What is this? Is this the fairy fountain? Is this something else? I don't even know where I am. Stamp it. Might be it. Where is this? Forest right next to the, uh... Oh, it's literally this way. Literally right next to the village. What is that? Hey, there's a shrine. A crystal rabbit or something. There's the fairies. Please, listen to my story. Give me money. See, this is like, if this was real life, it's like, this place used to be beautiful, but then people stopped giving me money. Just give me money. <laughs> you rupees. I mean, it's a hundred. It's chump change, dude. Even if not real. A giant hand's gonna come out the water. Yeah, I had a yawn. <laughs> I 
Christ, you've returned my former glory. Allow me to enhance your clothing. Okay. We do this. Ah, okay. Interesting. I don't know if we can do this infinitely, so I'm gonna up the tights probably so it can be more defense. Or the hat. Which, which should I do? He just, he just wants common stuff for these upgrades. I'll do the stealth tights. Mm. Do the hat. You kiss my hat, I get a better hat. A set bonus. Okay, I was wondering if it was going to cost anything. These are really cheap level ups. I was wondering if it's like, it's 100 for each one, but then you also need materials. I guess more value to money, because right now shops have been pretty sucky. Clothes shops are good to spend money in, that's about it. I guess I can get arrows. Okay, let's enhance these, because these are super easy to enhance. Just add five horns. Alright, you gonna tell me Tell me how to get level 2 Give me level 2 Level up Like this is pretty cheap and easy to level up And just 5 horns from an enemy once you've retorted the power of my sisters. Okay, that's how we do level two. Ah! I like how, uh... That guy's like, the guy, there's a guy in town that's like, dude, where is this fairy fountain? So hidden. Right heck in here. All sorts of goodies in this forest, huh? Violet Princess. See if I can jump in the water. Kill the deer in here? Do we get like excommunicated from the uh, forest if we kill? I haven't killed a buck yet though. Ah heck, motion. Party radish. Did they run away? They did. I shot and missed. it to the fairy forest, huh? Heck. 
We gotta be closer to do that. But there was something here. Was there? Alright, let's do this puzzle. And I just need to find the guy to get the seeds. That's pretty good, but uh. Yeah, if I can farm infinite amber, there's not really a reason to uh. <laughs> Come back, Ostic. You're just figuring out your internet? Yeah, I only... I don't have quality options. Gotta get a... I have a higher... Higher level of stream to get quality options. I don't know. There's... I watched a 200. Was hosting Essentials TF. TF2 tournament. They didn't have quality options and they had like 300 viewers. It was really weird. Which is just weird like that. Yeah. I could, eh, I could lower my bit rate like a tiny bit. If you're, I don't know, I don't have my viewer count open though. If no one else objects. Unless they, that won't help because you have like 1k bit rate download. You could do audio only if you really wanted, but you gotta use like Twitch Mobile does it. You use a stream link you can, on computer. You can get audio only. I don't know. I mean, I <laughs> not really the best option. You're, then you're missing half the stream. Alright, there's a glowy rabbit somewhere. I think they were up there. I put the spell right. I mean, Firefox and Chrome have uh, built in spell checkers. I don't have to. I can guess. Unless I guess it's spelled so wrong that it can't spell check. I don't think you have it. There's a glowy blue rabbit around here somewhere. I must kill. You have audio only on PC. The easiest way is Google Stream Link Twitch UI or Twitch Stream Link Twitch G UI. Follow the steps to get it running. But yeah, it's not in, like an official option on Twitch. You got to use an external app. I don't know why. They have it on mobile, I think. These rams really want to kill. Where's the entrance to this one? 
More importantly, where did the glowy rabbit go? That's what I want to know. I missed out on the blue rabbit. There's a glowing blue rabbit somewhere. I wonder if we get a fishing rod at some point. I mean, you can just throw bombs in the water and get fish, but... It's just a normal, uh, it's a mighty cart. Alright, well, I guess I'll do the shrine. I don't know where the rabbit went. I'm not doing anything else in this game until I find the blue rabbit. Uh, that's the decision. I could do something interesting, like go in the shrine right there or something, but just look for a blue rabbit. Seems like the best idea. Alright, well, I have no idea where it went. Maybe it'll come back. Oh, we gotta put a thing in here. A ball. Oh, I know what we gotta do. That ball that's, um... In Impa's room, probably goes there. It might be, like, later on in the game. Is there anything else I can pick up? Probably cool stuff on the top of the mountain right in front of me, too. See if she just lets me take this. Can I take it? I take the ball. I know what to do with it. Let me get it. Let me. I need it. Give me the ball. Can 
I wonder if at some point in the game we just get randomly ambushed by Yaga clan members. They're like thieves and assassins in Skyrim. Okay, they tell you that the fairy is here. To know my story? Really? Here, let me see your birthmark. Is it on your, um... Is it on your, um... I can't... I can't say on the stream. You're not allowed on Twitch. Clearly. Can I get audio only on PC? Get it say here. Just Google what I type in chat. Search that up. Stream link, Twitch GI. I used to use it a lot. My laptop, because my laptop was really bad at playing Twitch. And I got a new one. <laughs> Where is your birthmark? It's on my, it's on her foot. Can I take the ball? Give me ball. Give me ball. Give me ball. <laughs> Dang it, dude. I gotta wait until later in the game. Maybe if I go back and talk to the fairy. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go back up. Top. I wonder if I have enough money to just buy all the clothes they're selling right now. If I sell some stuff. Alright, so hopefully if I go back to the ferry, maybe she'll say like, Hey, you need the ball for that thing that needs a ball. You can clearly see the middle of the ground. It's not hidden in any way. Maybe. Okay, well, no rabbit. Well, no rabbit. Some acorns. One day, one day I'll kill a buck in this game. They probably drop their horns. Imagine. Alright, let's see if this fairy says anything about the, um... What's it called? The ball. That particular item is out of my hand. Can't enhance the old shirt and just wear it the rest of the game. SMH. A 
Okay, she doesn't say anything about the, uh... What's it called? The ball. I mean, it's incredibly obvious, but... Like, I, I kind of hate it. Like, this game... I think the way this game is presented makes me not, like, really hate it. Usually everything in this game seems pretty, like, if it's open, it's there, you can mess with it and do stuff with it as soon as you see it. it might not be easy, you're at a certain point in the game, but you can do it. And then this is just something that's like, hey, here's a thing that's super obvious what to do. What to do with it? And you just can't do anything with it. Some random other part of the game, sorry. Doesn't make any sense. Alright, well, it's time to go in the other parts of the mountain. Oh, that water. All this mountain area in general. There, you gotta get over on top of this part of the mountain. On here. The rock. It's probably one of the another one of those guys. You know, those guys. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, how'd I know? Another one of these guys. Gotta cost more, or just the game lets you have an insane amount of slots. Probably eventually you get other uses, or it costs more for the seeds. Probably a ton of them in the game. That's all there is to this area. Waterfall. Oops, wrong ability. These fish. Got him. Okay. Not really anything to that. Just there. Hello. The, the easy way to avoid this is just not not be out at night. Jeeves. Jeeves, not even just like just Jeeves. I guess I should go ahead and just do this shrine that's in eh. It's basically right there, right? 
So I don't know about the area that's it's around. Definitely some other shrines I know I can do. What do we do with uh, these ancient items? Hopefully eventually I'll figure that out. It's a guy on a horse. Go towards this still. Yeah, because we can just jump straight down. Really? I have a bad bow? I do. I'm sure the area around this shrine is kind of tough, but I kind of just want to do the shrine and then just leave. Like, yeah, I've, I've been around this area, but for not really. I kind of want to check out this well. I'll check out this well and then I'll glide to the shrine. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We're about to find out. Well, let's get the better sword. What is it? Oh, it's a Korok. Okay, I thought it was something... It sounded skeletal. I was thinking it was menacing. Thankfully, it was not. Okay. Alright, well, time to go back up the mountain, I think. That was that area. I'm gonna swim to this, uh, shrine. Why should it be like I can't get to this shrine for some reason? Like there's just deadly water, I can't step in it. If I can make this. Enemy there. Got him. 
lizard infested area, huh? Another one? They try to camouflage. Are these the statue guys from Zelda 1? Let me just turn into a statue on you. Look through my weapons. I don't need this farming hoe. Let's just try to break it, I guess. Bye. What other boomerang or do I want the spear? Let's drop this one. Okay, let's do this shrine. This area is surrounded by, uh, lizardmen. Might be a tougher shrine. This is where- this is probably one of the more standard ones. So right now I've done pretty simple ones that are by beginning of the game areas. This will be the first tough one. What's up, dragon? Only speak uh, English, so. Not really a point of trying to chat here if you. in a different language. I think I know what to do here. We can use magnets. Or not. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a bowl. Cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I can't really do much support for the app because the way I get the app is a lot different. I recommend that you got it from a GitHub page, right? It should have instructions that are pretty good. I do. What if we gotta take this bowl with us? What is this? This is like a giant button. gonna drop down something to hit the button as well. Ah. There we go. Got it. Looks like we can't take the, uh, what's it called with this? There are no items in this one? It's unusual if there weren't.
it's a pretty short, short one. I guess the shrines in general are kind of short. They're just they gotta have a lot of them. I don't see any treasure chests though. Oh, there's one. Water drains in here, apparently. Silver long sword. Hmm. Get rid of our most boring weapon then. That's oh, two handed. Okay. Well, I don't know if I find it any good then. It's cool, I guess. I guess I'll just use it then. So I don't really care for two handed weapons in this game. Could use it as an axe. All right, we got an orb. Orb get. All right, I guess we can skip the rest. And turn to ash. Alright, well that was that area. I gotta figure out how to get out. I might try to just walk away and go to where I was planning on going, or I don't know. This area, boy. Try to get on top of this tower first, actually. There's always treasure on top of them. I don't know where I am at all, but... Yeah, I gotta go back. Check these little things out. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. oh. Teach me how to swim? Uh. Oh, these are the Zora. Sidon is a member of the distinguished Zora royal family. Go to that area. Cool. You teach me how to swim? These gold things. Sweet lotus seed. Okay, now that I have an extra stamina thing, I should be able to do this easy peasy, right? Find the answer to your question? Hmm. No, no. Now I would say, learning, learning to do your own. Learning to do your own tech support stuff's always nice, but I don't know how. Messing up. The only thing I can say to help is 
Make sure you follow the instructions on the GitHub page. Wouldn't think... I don't know. Yeah, I just wouldn't think you would be, find, find a way to get messed up. Money. Okay, I'm paralyzed. Slain. A lightning rod. Okay. Whoa. That's a cool weapon. An electric key swing. So I can make things electric. I don't know, I kinda like spears in this game. Having sword swords and spears. I don't really like having this long sword. I'll just try to use it so it breaks ASAP. Uh, I don't know what they- how many more spears? I only have one other spear. I guess I'll drop this boomerang. So this is why I didn't want to come to this area though. Stuff for enemies. That. An ox? Whatever it is. What the heckle? Can't shoot bows from very far. Are those ducks? They are. Little ducks. Only thing you can do with them in this game is kill them, probably, but they're ducks. Okay, so I could just teleport to the shrine, or I can try to just walk back. I'll try walking back. See what happens. And kill the duck. Delicious duck. Hmm. This is fun. And then cook duck. I have an item that lets me sneak better. Get them cook duck. Exactly. You can cook the duck. But the, this game's weird. I, don't know, I guess it simplifies things. All birds just drop the same meat, then all animals just drop the same meat. You can't make cooked duck. You can just make cook, cooked bird. The bowl. Try to kill the bull and get some meat. Headshot. Oh, and you got some prime beef, meat, prime beef, prime rib. The ducks just- okay, it's like, do the ducks let me just pet them? See, there's another one of these guys here, and I don't really feel like fighting him. I guess I realize they're not as tough as they look. I just don't feel like fighting one. 
Definitely don't want to have to fight them when you're also fighting other enemies. They just teleport around. Electrocute you. Get a new horse. Come on now, I have a thing that lets me sneak better. You're telling me that it's not doing me any good. Also a guy on a horse over there. Be able to meet up with him, so I'm gonna have to this water makes it harder to sneak. Hard to tame these guys. I don't know if you need more health or what. Or just have to mash L harder. Let's talk to these guys. Whoever's over here. A donkey. Can you get a donkey in this game? Alright, so he sells Kakiro Village items. Party Truffle. Yeah, buying food, I don't know. You literally farm, you get all sorts of items. You need lots and lots of potions, then you'd buy. Sell him some of my uh, stuff. go see if we can get another one of these horses if we go yeah back this way we go back toward the village oh wow that's a thing with those guys where the horse is at let me see if i can tame this horse again Or if you can just walk up to them if you have an item that gives you max sneak. Or all three of the items that let you sneak better. Oh my god! Does not want to be tamed, huh? I'm guessing you just have to pursue them forever if that's what you want to do. I don't know. Try the other horse. <laughs> oh, we got him. Got a tame black horse. Now we gotta find a stable. The stable is all the way over here. I kinda wanna fight these guys too. Like, I wanna go over there and fight, but then my horse is gonna run off. bad this isn't Minecraft and I can't just like tie the horse to a tree or something then go fight those guys and come back. I gotta like speed run and fight them. I guess I can always come back to this.
Yeah, we're just gonna head back towards the stable. More horses. Okay. Horse, you're gonna run us into a wall. What am I playing? I'm playing on a Wii U. picked up any of those gold beetles yet. This horse is super nervous because it's around all these people. Dumb horse, just turn us into a corner, huh? No, I don't have any uh, of this generation's consoles. For newer games, I use PC. Okay, there we go. Let's go continue on the road. Get to the stable, then we can just put this horse in the cage. Put him in the cage. Put him in the bin. Getting any more tameness in this horse. There we go. Here, we gotta get it across on the bridge, huh? gonna stop because we ran right next to a rock. Or sucks. <laughs> this is the problem with horses. If you see any items or anything you want, you just gotta get off the horse. Yaga clan guy. Oh boy, we're gonna have to fight him. <laughs> Dedicated to defeating a hero long thought dead. Dang it, dude. I got a horse to ride. Are you kidding me? I gotta fight him. I. I'd love to fight you, but I was trying to bring a horse back to tame. Yeah. 
Maybe later I'll come fight you. Alright, have a good one, Knight Austic. Hopefully I don't bleed out in this game by the assassin. Oh, maybe he'll still be there when I come back and then I can challenge him to a fair fight. There's regular looking people, but on the other side. Yes, please. What do we call this, uh, horse? He's got slightly better stats than the other two. More strength and stamina. Please name your horse. We'll name him Jeff. Name him the runner. Just name him Runner. All over case. Run from the enemies. That's the most notable thing he's done so far. Or we could name him Wall Walker. Yeah, he walks into the walls. And he runs from assassins. Board the horse now. Okay. And see if the assassin is still there. Hey. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. I was just trying to bring a horse home and then there's an assassin waiting for me. No, what do you what do you think that guy thinks about that? It's like, dude, I just tried to assassinate him and he just ran away. On his horse. Dude, this hero of time is such a baby. He just ran away. The other village is this way that I gotta do story stuff for. I wanna do four more shrines first. I think I'll get more hearts? Maybe more stamina. With hearts, it seems to be like you either just get a ton of damage dealt to you, or not. And you can, then you can just heal back. Like, you get tons of healing items. I want to duel him. Let's not use my worst weapon against him, though. He's still here. He gave up. Well. Oh well. It was kind of funny. Had to run to an assassin. After I, uh... Trying to just safely get back to a horse. To save a horse. Alright, speaking of horses. The other location I want to go has another stable. Um, I think it's this green area, and I can check. But yeah, I'll also head towards those pins. I think I know what those ones are, though. Kind of weird that that assassin just dipped. I have other pins to other places, it seems. The only two I see, though. Oh, there's one over here. Maybe it's that one. Kinda sucks. I wanted to kill the assassin, but I had to run away because I was wanting to save the horse. Epic. Epic ponage. You need to find a vantage point and then just figure out where I'm trying to go. There's an area that had like two shrines and a stable. I want to go back to that area.
I guess maybe I'll just still do more story missions. I'll go to this uh, science village. Like I could oh wow, look at all how many enemies are there though, but that's the way I could go. That's the way I gotta go actually to get to that village. And there's the forest that uh the guy that takes the seeds is at. It's in kind of an active place I wanna go, but I guess I'll just fast travel now. We go to uh, this tower. Dude, that's a funny thing actually. If they could just gang up on me, I'm just like, bye. <laughs> and I just teleport to a random tower. That That's the funniest. That would be the funniest. Okay, I'm gonna go to shrines. There's also like a shrine up in the mountain somewhere. Where am I going though? I'm going like this way, I think. This is blue? I don't know what's right behind me. These other colors that I marked. Probably the, um... Probably the um. Okay, well, you can just farm. Never mind. You probably still can just farm the Minecraft items, but. I just want to know what I'm looking for. enemies. I guess I could have just went back here. I don't know what I'm looking for is the problem. Yeah, let's just go back to the stable. Like, I know, I kind of know what I'm looking for, but I kind of don't. I think both the things I've marked are, like, up high. You can go up top this tower. This items respawn for you too. Okay, I know what that one is for. You gotta get way on top of these mountains. I could try the ice method. I wanna do this shrine. If I do that, then I can check like where I have the other things marked too. I guess I'll do that. I'll just use ice to climb up the mountain.
the strat. Gotta be careful though, can't accidentally touch the waterfall. Or else I just fall. I wish you could selectively disable motion controls. I want the motion controls for like bow style aiming, but I don't want it for aiming the abilities. Alright, I just want to be able to like toggle it. Ah, oh, heck. Well, lost all that progress. All that movement. I gotta go back. Accidentally placed that one too low. It's better to just place them right next to you than it is to try to space them out. Because then you risk... Not being able to climb it, that's as high as you can make it. So just make it next to you. And watch there be enemies, like, at the bottom of this. Or at the top of this. I can't- god dang it. Really? Oh my god. I accidentally fell off and now I gotta redo it. I mean, this is still probably the best- I am about to die too. Are you kidding me? And I drowned for no reason too. This is really hard. For no reason. I don't know how I fell off, but I did. Gotta be super careful. One of the problems I'm having is my if the controller plugged in and the wires all tangled up, so let me get, solve this problem. <laughs> Okay. Try this again. I don't even have a wire weighing me down. I can't blame the wire now. Yeah, I can see how I fell off, but... Ooh, that was very close. Almost did a really bad jump. You make it so you don't even have to jump. That's the next level strat. I think we're getting close to the top. Really? The devs thought everything, huh? Oh, 
There we go. We made it to the top of the mountain. Kind of mine. Minecraft. That's nice. Now, hopefully... Oh, boy. I fell off first thing. Pissed. Now we gotta get towards these markers I have for the... What's it called? Shrine. Kinda risky trying to use up all my stamina. You know. Can't wait. Or if there's a way you're, like, supposed to get up. Doesn't really seem like it. Is that towards the, um... This game always freaks me out. Sounds like it's gonna play the Red Moon song. Does the one chord. the shrine is no. I am nowhere near the shrine. I have to find a way to get up. The Minecraft stuff, though. Like, how am I supposed to get up, you know? Gotta be a way. Those bugs barely have anywhere to go and they still get away. Imagine if I just accidentally fell off. Oh boy. Well, where the heck do I go? I go back over here and get some stamina. I'm not sure what happened, but. Game is like, no. Some slopes you can't stand on. I didn't know that. That was freaking me out too. I'm like, am I just gonna fall off? No, uh. Nothing I can do about it. There's a chest just up here. Okay. I guess you're supposed to walk from like a path down somewhere. But you can just sequence break all you want with climbing. Oh hey, it's one of these guys. I still don't know how to fight them. I wonder how you fight the stone taluses. 
There aren't supposed to be super serious fights, judging by the music, but I don't know how you fight them. Even the bomb doesn't seem very good. Maybe. Well, I'll try a bomb hit. Yeah, the bomb doesn't seem that good for him. I don't know. I still don't... I feel like I don't have good weapons for him, you know? Hopefully he leaves me alone now. I have these guys to deal with. You're easily gonna follow me over here. I think I'm out of his range now that the music stopped. Kill. Another hammer. Uh, well, my other hammer isn't damaged, but... Nice. Cool Safrina. Looks so vaguely pretty similar to another thing I have. Another Korok Seed. Yeah, see, every time I get a Korok Seed, I'm like... I gotta figure out what to do with these. Really? How did the wizard instantly disappear? What do I do about this hammer? Because this hammer isn't damaged, but I guess I'll get it anyways. Try the lightning rod, huh, or something? Oh. Go and fight these baddies now. I have a tower guard I need to take out. And then I can just throw a bomb. Really? I guess I am pretty close. Alright, now we just gotta run at him with a bomb. Really? How did that hit me? This game sucks. It's like a very common problem with this game. You just get hit. So I can get the other hammer, except for I don't like the two-handed weapons. I what the strongest weapon they had was. The Boko Club. I 
Probably gotta free the other fairies in order to uh, figure out what to do with those. They're really the best weapons they had. I guess I'll take a club. Guys weren't even anything to worry about, huh? You throw these at these? I don't know how else you're supposed to open those, but There's gotta be a way that, that all the loot doesn't just go flying. You know, at least I'd hope. Another oh, lizard. Let's get him. Can we just sit by the fire until daytime? Do that. Watch this be another red moon. Okay. I just don't want to deal with the nighttime of enemies right now. I guess the arms they have are better than the club, but. I gotta figure out a way to get to this uh, shrine. Okay. This almost looks like a path. Gotta be a way. Somewhere. I've been just climbing with no regard to whatever paths are supposed to be used, so might as well keep doing it, right? Up to the top of the mountain. If you get cold, we'll put on the thing. Makes me not cold. Still not near this uh, shrine. <laughs> like up here. Definitely need more stamina. I feel like more stamina is more versatile than more health. With health, it's like either the, we the weapon does way too much damage, so even if I was at like 5 hearts, it's not gonna do me any good. With stamina, at least I can just climb more. Okay, I can see the shrine now. I have no clue how we're actually supposed to get up here, but you know. We're here. 
shrine. The shrine is actually up there. Oh, no, there's one over here, too. Okay. Okay. I wonder how you're supposed to get over there that one. I mean, I can just glide, I guess. Get half the way there, but... Not quite. Alright, we are cold. Love how this jacket's way less covering is warmer somehow. Oh hey, I wonder what's under here. Oh hey, I wonder what this is. All these seeds. Gotta be able to use them. The very tippy top of the mountain. It looks like the only way to get to this one is just drop down to it. Interesting, I guess. Alright, let's go in this shrine. I guess that's why they have the skip option for these animations, because you just see them all the time. Well, I think there's four... I don't know, there might be even more than four shrines per area. I like vary based on area. What is this one? I am Sheevanath. I feel like all these names are puns. Twin memories. The memory? Their memory, the answer to the other's question. Interesting. So we have to go on top of both shrines. Both things. I guess I'm gonna write some stuff down. It's one in each row, it looks like. So, oh, okay, I get it. So they're both the same thing, and you gotta change the ball thing. Alright, let's draw this out. I'm gonna get a pen and paper out, dude. The level of this game. I'm just gonna use this piece of paper right here. Alright, so we got a, um... The one, two, we got a five by five grid. So it's just, uh... I draw a little square. Make it five by five somehow. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Here, I'm gonna expand it to make it five by five, so now it looks kind of jank. 
Okay, so this one is top corner. Left. This one. This one. Alright, so this is kind of what I have. I don't know. You guys see it. I, it it's, it's, it's a grid. It's a grid. With this on it. Because you're going to have to move the balls in the other one. And I'll have to draw out what the, the other ones are on that one too. See if there's a chest right here. Like no. There might. Alright, so we have to go to the other peak. Thankfully we can just fast travel to these. This is the first time I've had to leave a dungeon. Leave one of these shrines. It's an interesting one concept for one. to go up there get to the other one we gotta find a way to get back up the Shivanath I'm just gonna call it SV they're both called SV I'm gonna be pissed hopefully there's a way to get back up too I really need it Come on, game. Come on, Valve. I'm gonna need the cold resist as well. Looks like you can stand up here? Yeah. Interesting way to do it for these shrines. I have to. Get over there somehow. Like, how do you even get up there decently? And I guess you glide, but... Gotta be something. Some better way. I'm gonna try gliding to this... In front of me, but that might not work. Of course, there's stuff on these mountaintops probably to get and stuff, but... Yeah, I don't know how you would get up here, there, without just gliding or whatever. Oh, that's gold. I thought those were enemies for a second. I was like, oh boy. Not those are at all. I don't know how you would get to this one. I don't- I could probably abuse stamina recovery items, but... But we can just climb. We can just walk organically. Back up here, so... Let me go ahead and get these ores. Minecraft. I think gliding is faster than running. I think I have two hammers, because this one's damaged for some reason already. I guess I'll try to find a way to get up top. Does the map reveal anything? Not really. There might be something on the other side. Mountain, that'd be it. Probably try to fight that rock monster that's at the beginning of the game. See if there's any way to fight him 
decently. I'm just scouting out the area. I think there's no good way to get up from vote no matter where you go. I think there's a body of water over here, at least, so you can abuse that. Maybe? If there's like a waterfall, then that would be how you'd get up. But I think I can make it here without abusing stamina recovery. Maybe. Actually, I guess I can make it. Yes, there's not a way to get up. Looks like you just got to straight up climb to get up here. Interesting. That's what we're doing. Never mentioned we're way up high. I mentioned I'm way up in the air here. What is that crater? I guess the only way to get up is climb. It's the only thing that makes sense. Like we can stand here. Taking the risk. That. This seems like the only reasonable way to do it. To, um, glide. Or to climb. Not to glide. You can't glide forever. I was thinking of gliding because it looks almost like you could glide to this tower. Whatever orange thing was sticking up. I see a lot of towers right in view. This looks like how you do it. You have to climb. No other way to do it. No, they glow yellow if you haven't completed them yet. Here's this one. This one is SV. SMH. Sheevenir. We're just going to call this one She. Alright, and put circles on my thing for G. I'm not sure what weapon I want to break now. Oh, it's this thing. There we go. That 
what I want? The arm is the same strength as the sword, but whatever. Go ahead. I'll go ahead and activate this one. I think there's something on the actual peak of the mountain, too. Red can't fight unarmed. No, it's not it's not Zelda like of it. It's your weapons break. Yep. I think we can just leave this one equipped. Okay, so let me put circles down to my thing for this one. Okay, they're all different. This is uh, what it looks like now. You guys can't even see it. What it looks like. I got circles for this dungeons and X's for the other dungeons set. Alright, so hopefully these are magnetic or I'm gonna be pissed. They're not magnetic, but you can pick them up. That's good. One goes in the first one. One goes right next to it. I'm at the circle one. This one needs to be moved over one. You could just try brute force if you really wanted, but that would take a lot longer. There we go, we got it. Anything else open up? Any treasure anywhere? And usually these all have treasure in them, right? A treasure? any treasure in this one. There might not be any. I assume not. Hope not. Treasure in here is usually pretty good. The hat I got from one of these. Okay, we got the orb. The other one should look the same, right? And then you just be flipped the other way. That was that one. I don't know where I've been before, but I can see a thing. 
Cooking out of the jungle. Power. Alright, well, back to the sour. Let me go ahead and mark the other places if I haven't already. I can see from here that I want to go. I have, though. Oh, I marked the area in between them. Okay, there's a stable near one of those two. Okay, let's go in this one now. Map stamps? Heard of another game with map stamps. The game clearly just ripped it off. Oh, oops, I don't have to do this. Gotta drop down. This one goes... This one. This one goes in the almost last one here. This one goes in this one. goes in this one and this one goes in this one you can even see it went in the right one right I can't believe there's not any treasure in these ones must be so right your treasure over there Oh, there is. Oh, shnikes, I messed up, though. Alright, so I can go in the other dungeon, and it's probably where that one has treasure, too. Pick it open. Got a special spear. Ooh. Well, I'll need this crap, then. I mean the spear. I remember to use the lightning rod. The weapon I have is good in damage, but I don't like two-handed weapons using them in combat. You can't shield, they're slow. Maybe their uses on certain types of enemies, but yeah, it's the same guy, but the other orientation or resourcefulness means you get an orb. Three orbs. Need one more, and I can, you know, can do it. All right. So this dungeon required a pencil and paper. Didn't require, require, but that was an easy way to get it completed. Okay, so now let's go back to the other dungeon and get the chest that I was just at. Uh, 
Okay, let's go back in. Alright, let me get do something real quick. Get me a snack. Okay, I'm back. Don't worry about getting me a snack. I guess I'll have me a snack in 30 minutes. Anyways. Anyways. This treasure, yeah, that's also the same spot. Alright, so there basically there's always treasure in these things. Always look for treasure. Whoa. That's a good sword. That's a good sword. I'm not sure what to throw away to make room for it, but that's a good sword. The guardian sword is supposedly brittle, so I could probably drop it, even though. This is why you need more weapon slots in this game. Single? Oh, it's two-handed. What? That kind of sucks. I don't like these two-handed weapons. I guess I'll just get rid of this one. I don't like the two-handed weapons. Like, it's a good weapon and all, but... Yeah, this other boomerang I have even is better. Yeah, I'm falling into the trap of, like, I don't want to use a weapon because it's too good, but not really how it works. Alright. That was, like, that was an unexpected turn, but... Because I was meaning to just do those two, uh, shrines I marked before. Oh, I didn't- forgot to go up top here, so I guess I'm glad I fast-traveled back. Oh yeah, these good swords I have, I just gotta use them until they break. I don't really run into boss enemies too much or anything. Another one of these guys. Trying to get all the Korok seeds? Boy. Wonder uh, what that entails. Alright. Well, yeah, let's go to these two shrines that are, like, over here. It's like maybe I've done all four shrines that are part of this area. That one is in this area, too, so. We cannot glide all the way down, unfortunately, because we'll run out of stamina. Let me get better armor on. Plus, I'm still in a way too cold of an area. I 
Hey, that fire. Never mind. Okay, like, hey, that fire is still there. Except it's not. What is that? I don't even want to. I mean, I do. I know what it is, but. A guardian that's corrupted. Change to stamp, and we'll make it a baddie. That is a corrupted guardian. I don't. They're probably will tell me in the story how to fight him, so I'm not gonna go toward him. Actually, he's friendly, isn't he? He's blue. Uh, that was so bullshit. You're just one hit KO'd. Bye. You're dead. Have fun. Oh, well, you didn't have anywhere to go, but... The problem is when you complete, like, dungeons and stuff, when you take over towers, they turn blue. That's kind of funny. Uh, it gave me a tip about guardians, but I don't know what it was. I don't know where the save is. It didn't save me putting the stamp. Whatever it was. How many seed seeds do I have? Sixteen, I think I have the one from up there. I must, because it's saved, right? The problem with saves, auto saves. I'm pretty sure, yeah, because... I'm pretty sure. And yeah, these two shrines over here? Go. I guess just don't go this way, because there's a guardian. Er, yeah. Okay, I just didn't collect it, even though I was mashing A. Good job. Uh, good job, Link. <laughs> Item get. What item? I was going to try to use this sword. It's only slightly better than the other sword I have. I could try going around this way, but I don't see a point. Too much. Try gliding to that rock. There's something on the rock. About to get pumped by the choo choos. Look at all the ducks. Oh, 
Alright, well, back to land. Back to the flat ground that's sea level. Get that opal. Go ahead and kill this Octorok. I found an Octorok. A quote from CDI Zelda about Octorox. I don't think I've been on this tower, so... Here, we can put my better armor on, too. Is guy really trying to fight me? Should I try to... He sees me, like, what's the point? What is he gonna do with me? Alright, hold up, gotta do something. Uh, I see the little up levels. I can have stealth up. It's up to three levels. Okay. Making me made the mistake of trying to put something in the oven and then playing the game two streams ago. I tried using the timer on my computer and then it's like, oh wait. That's not gonna work. Only the game sounds coming through my headphones. Okay, now I'm going to set the alarm on my phone. You guys might hear it. But I hopefully should hear it. If I don't, I will, um... You know? Hopefully I hear it, okay? If not, if anyone's... If anyone else... Yeah, this is where the Nightbot having a timer would be good. What are those? Do we go over there? Is there even a point? Do it. Like way in the middle of the water, but can we zoom? Oh, that'd be cool if we could zoom on the, the paraglider. You can't really fight them without just arrowing them to death. And they're the lizard guys. Big deal. They're just the lizard guys. Big deal. I missed the opportunity to just glide to one of the shrines, but that's okay. This bridge. I don't know where it goes. There's a bridge. The bridge. I wonder if I walk on the bridge, the game will say. This Aegis Bridge. Okay. 
I want to go to the shrine. There's a boat. Okay, it's like, am I going to drown in a puddle again? What's this game? Lorette Sonder. What does that even mean? There's a person. Are they a spy? What is she doing? Did she force me off? Really? Idiot. So I should just run away and paraglide. Is what I should do, huh? Can I paraglide from the top of the tree? I can. Goodbye, idiot. I whack, can I whack you? I'm sorry. Consider, I'm just making a suggestion. I'm making you a path. the dumbest. Love that flower is placed like right there just so you couldn't like I can just fast travel to it now but it's just placed there so you can't just paraglide. So dumb dude. Like, what developer thought this was a fun, intuitive idea? Especially when there's a paraglider. You can literally just go to that mountain there and paraglide. To the entrance and bypass this dumb minigame. Oh. I'm high Loral. Drifting. Tokyo Drift. I wonder where the tr how the treasure is hidden in this one. This is Frogger. Can we freeze these in time? Really? Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, I was gonna be pissed. Well, there might be more than one chest. Got to keep that in mind too. So be on the lookout. Like here. Yeah, I know what you do with this, but.
Ice arrows. Makes sense, because it's an ice thing, I guess. Ah! There we go, that was more complicated than it needed to be. Probably all the chests here. That was a pretty short one. Orb get. Uh, orb get. Now we can get another upgrade. I really think I just want to get a stamina upgrade. That just makes more areas accessible to you. Our health, you know, I mean, take more damage, but. A lot of the things with four hearts, they do most of your health, but then you have time to heal. Do you bother trying to get out, or should we just let her drag me out? What? A big hearty radish. Alright, there was a point in wandering around here, huh? Man, did you not just see the giant slime that was going to attack me? <laughs> Hero of Time, defeated by a uh, angry flower lady. Man. I really wanted to see what that giant slime did too. Not to be. I don't know how you're supposed to get that. Just there to troll you. It's the only item you can get. Where'd the giant slime go? And he just has a bunch of jelly. Alright, that's that mystery solved. Almost want to see what happens. 
probably just keeps bringing you to like a quarter of a heart every time you touch. You'll never leave. But I get rid of your boat. He just doesn't care if I chop the tree down, though. SMH. That's how we defeat the final boss, though. Happens to be the final boss fight is in a field of flowers that she planted. Yeah, they need the, the, the someone that has the power to fight everyone all at once. That's what she does. Alright. I'm taking your boat. You're gonna take all my health. over there. Are you an assassin? Okay. Ugh, whatever. Ugh, whatever, dude. This glow snail. There's, yeah, there's a stable and a shrine right there. That looks like a very Ganon-infested area. If we walk toward it, it'll tell me something. It's probably like the road to the castle. Ma'am, just keep running. Ma'am. Ma'am. Dang it, Baba. Can you give me another item? Follow her back to the stable. This just keep happening until uh, she gets back to the stable. Pretty easy loot. It is. Oh my god, ma'am. We're screwed. I mean, that's not super hard enemies, but I don't want to have to fight that. I'm glad they haven't decided to attack. What is this? You're an assassin, aren't you? Your future holds death.
Oh, yep, it's an assassin. Your eightfold blade broke. Vicious sickle. Mighty bananas. I hope that chick made it back, because I was busy fighting uh these guys. Not want any of that. The fox. I don't know why the foxes let you just stand right next to them. They're like a real animal. Oh, hi. I've lost my way to Korok Forest. This area is central Hyrule. Korok Forest is north. Okay. And my weapon stash. Hopefully you can do maybe like three or something, but it don't really matter too much. Can we just do weapon slots? I'm gonna double check bow. I don't really think I need bow slots. It's really just arrows that or weapon stash that I get messed up. Bye bye Yeah, like I already have five bows. I bear I you don't go through bows as often as you do weapons. And I'm just gonna get another weapon slot. Shield slot expansion made some sense too, because you just barely have any shields to hold in the first place. If he goes away after this, then uh Alright, let's expand the bow stash then. We can still do one more slot. Duh, na 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 na. He knows the song, he's breaking the fourth wall. Expand another stash? Let's expand the, sh the weapon stash again. Look at all these weapon slots. And another stash? Alright. Well, I guess if we want to expand, expand a lot, we can. That's the point of seeds. I'm wondering why there were so many seeds. But they go up for each level. How many you need. There are a heck of a ton wep more weapons now. I like shields. I don't know. Like, if you don't use... If you don't use one-handed weapons very often, then another shield slot isn't very useful at all, even. Oh. 
Hello. Oh, you can take out any horse. Cool. Oh wow, this horse is way better than Worm. Rip Worm Bob. This one has way better stats, but it's a wild temperament, so... Cool, that's kind of... I didn't... I mean, it's better for game mechanics, obviously, realism, like, getting any horse from any stable doesn't make any sense. Cool if you could see your horses in the stable, if you have any. Oh my god! I can use a mop. Mop attack! Mop attack! The Legend of Link, the mop attacker. You know, everyone likes pans in video games as the silly weapon of choice, but, uh... You know, I think the, uh... I think the next step, next evolution is the mop. In video game weapon design. I bet for every stable there's conveniently a uh, shrine next to him. You can fast travel basically to the... What's it called? How about a meat and rice bowl? Alright, hold up. Gotta get my grub. Speaking of getting food in the game. Alright, so, got me a little snack, a little grub, so I'm gonna try to, I'm not gonna change the game to social eating or anything, but usually with Wii U I try to open up Miiverse and just have that on. I don't think this game lets the background stuff be a thing. I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna browse on my computer, okay? I'm just gonna just look at this forever. 
can't really play the. I'm really gonna play the game while eating. See if I can go to Meverse. I probably can't. I can buy arrows, but like I'd rather spend my money on. On clothes, armor. You don't worry about selling yet. Don't worry about playing the game. Just save and then try to open up Meverse. Let's just look at Minecraft. Looking for teammate. LFT Minecraft. In game posts. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I'm eating a quick bite. Alright, too bad I can't just look at all of these. But yeah, I can't put the game on me at the same time. I'm not changing for social eating for five minutes. Hmm. Must be prime time. Yeah, it's like middle of the morning-ish. It's like 2.03 Moscow time, but that's far, far west Russia. It'd be like early morning in rest of Asia. It's middle 12. And I wonder what that is. Can they actually add parrots to Minecraft? I don't really keep track of updates for Minecraft. I know Rabbits, the combat update, that's the latest that I kept up with. That was like years ago. There's no good posts. I bred a rare pink sheep. Lol.
I'm not posting anything. I don't have anything to do. Well, the logic. What? 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 Hmm. Man, there's all these serious posts. Nothing. I can't think of any other game that'd be good for just dumb posts. No trolling. I have a backup of this world. Mark is one step ahead. Alright, almost done. Eaten. Almost about to get back to the actual game. Hmm. Oh, I saw how he did it. The armor stand and something on top. Button, I guess? Hi. I don't know what I just did. Pretty much a big hole. You know why I find that one funny? It's so simple.
Hmm. All right. Back to, uh... I think I'm done, done eating, so I can get back to the game. This is what I like about Wii U. You know. I'm not playing the game. It's just any time I want to eat, I can just put up Miiverse while I eat. I don't know. I don't like the idea of just having... Well, the stream is a, at a point where I can just go to intermission and then just go to social eating and chat, but, uh... <clears throat> like, there's not really anything else. Oh, look at that. Only really too much else I can put on. Like, put on you. Let's watch YouTube while I eat. That sort of thing. All right. I'm surprised the Miiverse could open with this game on. Um, or maybe, yeah, maybe this game does have to load after you suspend. No, Smash 3DS is like that too, on the original 3DS. I played the heckle out of that. All right. Oh, we can sell armor if we really want. We probably find armor at some point. I don't know. We can't even sell these for some reason. Maybe we can. I don't know. Looks like we can't. And some prime rib. Here we go. The parts that I have, like, a million of, I can sell. At least some of them. Wow! Wow! I just got four of those. Like, yeah, I get the heckle out of these. Get a heck ton. I think the only point of these is selling, but until I know for sure if I ever run into crafting, there is clothes making it seem, so that's probably a fairy thing. I probably can sell all these pretty safely. Well, it says it's a value as a component in crafting. I say crafting as well. Yeah, I don't know. Good enough. <laughs> Probably need to do some cooking, because I've used up a lot of my food items. Aww, yeah. Dude, am I being hit on? There's an area northeast of here. Oh my god, that guy is frozen. Oh boy, that's a side quest if I've ever seen one. That's a side quest. Hey, what's up?
Okay, well. Oh, I've already talked to this person. Nope, you gotta wait until uh, the morning. But there's not. Too bad it's raining, so I can't just sit by a fire. Oh my god. All right. Metal connections. Hmm, I wonder what I do. Oh, you can press B to get rid of the bomb. Excellent. Is there anything else I can use? Just those? Find this? We can. Got it. I guess I gotta do this to get up here, too. There we go. We need this. I guess so we can just climb more? Nice! Almost died, dude. No big deal. This falls over on me and I actually game over. I'm gonna be pissed.
had a timer go off twice. And that's gotta be how you get up there, but... That kind of works, but not really. Kinda does. For some reason we can't climb upside down like Spider-Man. You know, the game looks like it's giving us animations for it. We just got to move this whole thing back. Really? Oh, this is a way to do it, maybe. That's a simpler way. Ah, no, it's not what I wanted to do. Too bad you can't just rotate these. Basically, all I need to do. Maybe I can just freeze it in the air? That'd be a legit strat. Almost. Maybe we can put this one on top. Ah, heck. Oh, no. Ideally, I just stack it on top. That's a much better way of approaching it, actually. That was almost deadly. We would let it down at an angle. That was close. I was hitting the wrong button to try to sprint as well.
feel like, I don't know, there's probably a bunch of different ways you could do it. Only you could like tilt them very slightly. Basically all I need. I just need the ability to tilt this very slightly. There's no you can only push and pull. You can't tilt anything you're holding. Are you kidding me? It's like a pixel off. This was like the toughest one so far. Because you can't rotate this when you're holding it, which is incredibly annoying. Alright, let's try to back this up. This is not working. There we go. Maybe this will work. orient it the other way though and move it. Got it. It's just like luck. Luck new. Any treasure we can glide to? One took so long. Okay. I do the other one that's like right here. I don't think I did. Oh, I did. Oh, it tells you if you got the treasure from it. That's kind of nice. I kinda, I mean very. I only missed treasure in one, which is this one. Go ahead and go to it then. We'll just try to get the treasure. Oh, I know. I found the treasure, but I didn't have a use for it. Oh well. We're going to get the treasure. Get that 100% completion. Getting it in this game, seem it probably takes forever in this game to get it at 100%. Yes, I can try to fight the rock boss. And just see how to attack it. I do have the electric wand thing that might hit it. I 
think I got to the treasure. I just didn't. Yeah, I got the treasure and I just didn't take it. Well, this one's gonna be a little silly. Yeah, this one took a while to get to too, and it was just like pure luck. I'm sure there's like a very specific way to get to it, but... Wow, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I just jumped and then I could take out the parachute. There we go. Yeah, I just didn't take the sword, and so it didn't count. But I have found the treasure in every dungeon so far. Let me see if going to that does anything. To this. They're gone, though. They're dead, right? I'm ready to exit the shrine. Hmm. Okay, I'm like, like, right at the, yeah, right at the bottom. I'm right at the bottom. Of the like plateau area. That's the first area in the game. Hey, I wonder what's over there. I've been here. Yeah, this is the tower. Over there. If I go that way, that's the bridge tower area. I could still explore like this area that's right under this plateau. I don't think I really did that. I still don't know what to do about those. What's it called? These circles. Like, maybe you throw a rock in it, but probably not. I'm seriously gonna die to an Octorok. I actually am. Like, how did you intercept me there? There's one thing I hate in this game, is that the weather is terrible. Half the time, the conditions are terrible.
Hmm, so you're saying I should fast travel, because I'm about to just get zapped by lightning. Got it. This game just teaches you, hey. I don't know, this game has a lot of moments where it's like, dang, well, time to uh, go to a campfire and just wait for it to be a different time. Bye. Yeah, I get it now. Let's try to throw this a rock in there now. Ah! Well, I figured it out. And I want to get across the river, but it's also thundering. There we go, got it. And all sorts of Korok seeds. These guys wanna fight me? I got a bomb for him. This is the real reason I got a million weapon slots, just so I can farm and just hit, carry a million hammers. That is a reason. You just like always need a hammer, you always need a leaf, even though... Regarding a little treasure chest. That's some rupees. Not bad. What you can do with the guts? Yet to figure that out. Alright, did I do... Looks like, yeah, I did all the things, because I only have one marker left. Did both the shrines that I wanted to try to activate a tower? Something? I wanted to, um, fight the rock boss, though. 
Yeah, we'll do that first. We'll fight the rock boss. Just want to see if, like, I have any way to attack him or not. Yeah, now I can wall jump. Don't leave any st stone unturned. There might be Korahawks, there might be wildlife. I guess we can go and upgrade too. Go back to the temple. No, I have two. I uh, have one junk extra weapon. It's an axe. I could cut down trees. Practice doing that if I wanted. Some beetles. You get a leaf. Where the old man even appears in the old man spots anymore? Ah, so if you ever need a woodcutter's axe, you can always just go back here and it'll respawn. Alright. It's better to sneak up on the fireflies, okay. I do have the plus sneak item, so... Really? Yep. Got him. <laughs> I get his items. His items are worth a little bit of rupees. If I pick them all up, you know, I'll eventually get decent money. I don't know if it's actually worth the effort, though. not worth the effort. More stamina. Yeah, I'm going with more stamina. I'll go for health after this one, but...
is that? That is like right over like that's already an area like right next to where I've already been. Coming this way? Do we go near him? You know, I can't tell whether it's friend or foe. It's probably foe. Heading back towards that blue tower I activated, though. What, dragons? Dragons were enemies in the original Zelda. Uh, assume that's an enemy. <laughs> Alright, so the only other reason I returned to this beginning of the game area was to, uh... Fight the rock guy. Yeah, there's a guy made of rocks. Around the forest somewhere, I think. I haven't seen any boars anywhere. Just burn through stamina so quick, it seems. It doesn't matter. I ever light a fire here? Flint, I guess? Because this might be like a Korok seed. I never did light this on fire. I was like, this is a waste. No. Hey, we got the butterfly. You can come back here if you want to farm items, I guess. We want to know where the rock guy is. Leave no stone unturned. The game says, the hint. Oh, there he is. Okay, it's like he's right around here somewhere. By the forest. I don't know if I can actually fight him, but... The bomb is probably the best way. Let's do it. Try the hammer, maybe? Oh my god. That was the wrong time to try to shield. No four hearts. You 
just need to climb on top of him, don't we? Ah, uh, heck. You probably just try to climb on him. How did he hit? Okay. Ah, oh, what the heck? Okay. Hot buttered apple. I just need one heart. So don't walk in front of him at all. Got him. Was he just full of gems? He was. Cool. This is how you get money, huh? I'm gonna need an extra hammer to fight him. Or something. Got him. How do you get? Alright, well that was that mission. The, you just hit him with a hammer, like a gem. So you just need an extra hammer, basically. Alright. I know there's areas here I haven't been, because... Pretty sure, yeah. It's all like, you gotta jump down. I haven't been everywhere right outside of this... Plateau. There's stuff on all the sides, but I only went to the front. Have any weapons that won't shock me? But the leaf, I guess. Why is it always gotta rain in this game? But 
I saw something down there. Should I just jump down? It has been raining so much in this game recently. I just want to explore and it's raining non-stop. Alright, well... Not quite sure what to do. I did want to wander around and activate another tower or I'll continue on the story. Not too sure. I did want to, like, I guess make sure I fully explored all this area right outside the plateau. This little road area. Hey. That was an easy one to get. A bunch of those guys, and they aren't even actually as strong as they look. Was scared of them at first, and it's like, oh. Their weapon is like barely better at everything. It's just barely better than normal. Alright, we gotta equip their club, so that way I don't get shocked. Yeah, all this area that's not to this north northeast corner. This area and all the area to the west and northwest. I haven't been anywhere here. Dude, there's a deer. I want to kill a deer at some point in this game. Drop horns is all I want to know. He drops prime meat. I guess is nice. You can blow up trees? What? Can you? You can. You don't need an axe. I don't even know where I'm going. There's something I've marked in the map that's this way, apparently. Pig did not want any of it. Oh, I could have picked up the bird or something, I guess. Oh, the reaction time for that. At least it seems that way. Oh, this is like an alternate uh, area. Part of the exit. I don't think it's gonna rain in this game anytime soon, so you know. Just take it. 
don't know if I have any weapons I want to like clearly throw away. I guess this axe, especially since I don't think I actually need it too much. I'll keep it for now though. Funny I have a bunch of extra weapon slots and somehow I've already filled them all the way up. That might still be the next thing I get. Yeah, I just I'm not filling up the arrow or the shield slots at all. Like holding more bows is nice, but I have yet to use that other my new arrow slot. I'm using the heck out of my bow slots. Really a treasure chest of these ruined villages things, but I guess not. Now. Oh man, look at this area. I do have slightly higher level sneak. Shadow Archer. Look at my arrows. Really? That's what has to give me away. Can I get a one handed weapon? Oh, heck. That's. I always forget when you're in the middle of getting attacked, you still can get in attacked. This is how your shield gets damaged, if you use it with a two-handed weapon. Not even all of them. Well, I just realized you don't want to fight enemy bases at night when it's about to be night. Fight Boko Bike. Bike. Spiked Boko Spear. Have any other craft weapons? We can get rid of this axe. Oh, it's not as good as I think it is, though. What do you mean I can't carry any more bows? Did I just pick up a crap bow? I did. I don't know who sees me, but... You come down and fight me. <laughs> the 
heck, you dude, he's not even a good enemy. Place your arrows. What happened, basically? I haven't seen any battle axes or anything. Because they can't have you, uh... I don't need too many more two-handed weapons. Let's get another one-handed. Your shield is badly damaged. Oh, I know what I can do with the... What's it called? Why do you can't just quick drop weapons? Is that it that was over here? Looks like it. There's a lot of good stuff over here. A lot. All right. There's a thing. Here's a thing. I think I've been to this one, though. Yeah, I've been to this one. Okay, look at all these guys. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. Spiked Moblin Club, that is a really good weapon. Nothing else, I should probably just drop the... Claymore? It's stronger than the Claymore. Thanks, guys, for just letting them both attack me at once. Really need to cook more. I still have good stuff to heal with, I just haven't been eating it. Have this. I gotta remember the elixirs are in this game. I rather the spiked club. Spiked club does like twelve. I have look at all these items. I have look at all this. What I have. I'm not taking a spiked club. They do like 12, right? Three good spears, so I'm gonna try to use up the spear. I don't really...
Is it him trying to drop this broadsword? The hammer is utility. I need to remember to use the sword at some point. It's not very durable. It's just good for one, like, strong fight. Yeah, this isn't as good. I'm gonna stick with what I have. Okay, it's like, wasn't there a tower, like, right where I was? I just missed, passed by. Nothing over here, huh? Alright, well, let's go to this tower, and then I'll try to go to this shrine? Tower? One of the two. They're both kind of next to each other. There's just a bomb up there. That's it. There's another thing there, so maybe I actually haven't been there. Where that glowing light in the mountains is. Yeah, you could have climbed up here, grabbed this. And then thrown it in. Except for you couldn't, because that didn't hit at all. Let's go over here. I love the upside down chests. I got you. Got to love them. Got them. So many of these guys. Ultra's Claymore. No, I don't want another two-handed weapon. One's good enough. Probably none. I was like, is it night already? No, this game just likes it to rain every... All the time. Kill. Didn't get the fox pelt, huh? Always nice to have more arrows. Endurish room. I think there are certain things that can only be found when it's thundering, though, but... Wooden shield. Yeah, at this point in the game, nah. Alright, well, let's go to the shrine, and then I'm not sure what to do from there. Maybe go to the tower and then go to that shrine? <laughs> I 
I, this tower is within walking distance as well, but... I guess I can fast travel back to the shrine, if I have to. Hmm. You both fire multiple arrows at once. That's all I got to read of that tip. Now I know that's a thing. I am calm attack. Trial of power. I need a hammer? Thankfully I have a hammer. What's to do with this? Probably just to hit this back. I didn't even push it that much. Okay. Yeah, I wish this would recharge a little faster. Hey, that's something that happens later in the game. That sword's not bad. You know. You know. Edge of duality. What? Well, unless I get a sword like that. Actually, let's just get rid of the two-handed weapon. I don't need it. I have an axe. I don't, but... What is the sword, you know? Yeah, they're gonna have a two-handed sword. It might as well be that one, huh? I guess this is how we're supposed to do this one? There we go. Another chest. Knight's broadsword. 
Oh, I said, don't need this guardian sword. Get rid of the sickle. That way we don't get confused for a baddie. Barrels here we can use. Another enemy. These are spears, huh? Doesn't say they're not as durable. What are they, 10? Better than this spear. I like spears. This one's a lot more... Should've known better. What is that thing? Ancient core. Interesting. I bet the me quest get one. Oh, there's a motion control, I see. This is kind of dumb. Motion control. It's just too accurate. This is 2D and it's 3D for the hammer. Oh my god, that actually worked. Almost. These physics, man, they're too accurate. Okay, finally. <laughs> Let me double check, actually. I might be going in a circle or something. There was a little, like, doorway that wasn't, like, a graded gate that you could go through. Now we're gonna go, uh... There we go. Hmm. 
Your bows don't break as often. There's this. Like, that is a super strong two-handed. Spear is better. That one is. This two-handed? Oh. I don't need a bunch of bad two-handed weapons then. I didn't realize this was two-handed. I want the Zora Spear instead. I'll go with another sword. These swords aren't very durable is the only problem with it, but... It takes so many more hits with the spear. Only one. I already have like three, four good spears. Three. And I think I'd rather have the Zora spear. Even though it's way weaker. Stasis, Cryonis, Magnesis. Just realized. Oh. Well. I didn't know that was going to happen. Can we undo this? Diamond. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is a pretty comprehensive place. That was, that was quite the trial. I give you the spirit orb. I kind of forget what the ending part was like, so I'm gonna do it. You just fade away, and then that's it. Yeah. Try swinging heavy... Min metallic objects around as a weapon. Not only can you use your bombs, they need your bombs that are way... <laughs> a little easier to use. Maybe I mar was marking this tower. Oh boy, there's a guardian on the way to it. We can still climb it kind of easy, but... I'm not sure I want to go from here. So I can also go this way. Towards this part of the bridge, which looks like it's all messed up. And that stuff going on. That's an enemy. Wow. All higher level of these guys. Hmm. Oh, this isn't part of the plateau either. Okay. 
thought it was. I think I'm gonna try to go to the tower. It looks like I can maybe just glide onto it. It's right here. Oh, his guardian's like right next to it though. I think I can glide onto it from here. Uh, no, I was wrong. Hmm, so you gotta get up there in a way that none of the guardians can see you. Probably very, very tricky. Oh no, why did you climb on that? And now you're stuck on an object. Oh no, I'm dead. I thought this one didn't... Be way easier to get to. I didn't realize there were guardians right there next to it. And now I have no idea where the last save was. I did just leave a place and that was about it. So I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Best to avoid these foes until you have the right tools for the job. Yeah, it didn't save as I left this. This tower is right here, you know? The big T's. It looks like maybe you can try and climb on top of that tower and then just glide onto it and they can't aim at you once you're up that high. I don't know. And I tried gliding to it and I wasn't anywhere near the top. I probably should have just tried gliding. I would have gotten air shot. You probably either to defeat the guardians or I don't know, just pwn it. What a trickier one. There's a guardian on that side, on this side. No, why did you? Oh my god. Sniped. I feel like, hmm. Either there's a trick to it or this one's just supposed to be like impossible to do until you can defeat the guardians. One of the two. It saved with me right here. It's a little weird. I think I'm too high for them to target now. Okay, well, the game <laughs> helped me out here. Whew. Yeah, the game spawned me, like, right to where I could get to him. 
Alright, well those gardens are still a problem, but I can still use this tower. I don't think this tames the guardians that are right here. Hey, here's the tower. The game... The game kind of cheated for me there. It teleported me there without that walking guardian being anywhere near me. That made it way easier to get up. Okay, well, I have this area on the map now, I guess. Thank you, come again. I did this one. This is Hyrule Field. And this is the castle. I would kind of wish it would draw more strict borders so you could tell what region is in with with what. Like what region. What Sheikah Tower goes with what. Okay, yeah, those guys are still hostile looking. I'm kind of curious what happens if you try to go, like, right next to the castle. It can't be any good. Alright, well, let's go towards this area. Jeez, their range is insane. I'm guessing the landscape right by the castle is just littered with guardians so you can't do anything about it. Oh wow, that's like a mini boss. You have to be within the realm of these guys. Should I go for it? What's down here? Alright, I'm gonna save. Maybe I'll try to fight this guy. Maybe. There's a ton of guys over here. Moblin Guts. Those on their spiked clubs. Alright, should we go fight this guy? I almost want to try to snipe his little buddy first. Oh, he doesn't tell his buds.
Oh, really? It's night. These guys got to show up. Goblin arm. The 15 sword. Looks like a two-handed weapon, actually. Hey, that was almost a calamity. Let's eat like a little apple or something so I don't get too pwned as well. Alright, this may or may not work out. Let's see if I can save right here. Well, too bad I had to drop my weapon. Oh uh, boy. Too, if only this game gave you a prompt when you... I just... Like, I can't believe you can't just drop weapons from the... You have to go into the inventory to drop weapons. Okay, I'm about dead. Shield! Are you kidding me? I was mashing L a million times. He would just not target so I could shield. Alright, well this guy... <laughs> this guy's been the, the toughest boss I can't even, like, attempt to attack. I'm gonna, like, die ten times just trying to target him. Well, too bad he fell down there, because now I have to fight these other guys if I want to get his loot. That actually is genius. That is very smart. For the devs to make it so you have to fight them just to get his loot. It is really silly. Like, I just fought him, but I can't get- I'm not allowed to get his loot, because there's yet another enemy. Are they going to respawn right now? And they are. But that that kind of sucks. So I might as well load my save and then try again. Stop targeting him. Aim. Hmm. This is really hard for unintentionally. 
Because you can't just jump down and get the loot once he dies. Because you have to fight them like a mini-boss. Protecting the loot. All I want to know is what he drops when he dies. But that is like the final boss. <laughs> that is like unintentionally incredibly hard. That is not. Save I want to load. We'll do this one. Then you throw... I need to shoot a bomb and then... And try to kill that guy, but not make him go flying. Eat food. Eat it. Why does it say five for some of these in like a different way? There we go. And he didn't even drop anything cool. I just wanted to make sure of what he dropped. Alright. There's the super big flaming two handed sword. It wasn't even really worth it, because... I don't really want it too much. Yeah, look at all these guys patrolling this water. A great fire blade, I guess. We're just gonna use it until it breaks. Oh, hey, I know what this is. I love how the, like, those dark things about to happen, but haha, you found me. Hey, now here's Ganon's thing. Okay. Enemies respawned. I kind of don't... Yeah, I don't know. I was wondering... I was just wondering what the big guy had. But I don't, don't really like what he had because it's a two-handed weapon. Whatever, dude. I guess I'll just try to use it because it's like I already have a 50 damage two-handed. Really need to do some cooking in-game. Now that looks like that's a two-handed weapon. Not what I need. What are these? Okay. Like where I'm headed might be just a terrible area, but I don't know yet. So much again in purple stuff. And you won't know until we get near it.
Like, how good is the soldier's bow? Enough to where I don't need this bow, probably. A queen bridge. This purple stuff does not look any good, but let's just double check. Oh, wow. Can you even do anything about it? Just slip through an explosion, huh? Yeah, this looks like a battle. All seem ruins. Not what I wanted to do. Centaur. Alright, so that's like a boss fight. I just wanted to know if it was. No big deal. Okay. So I guess I did go wander around and activate another tower and, uh, Stuff. Times it. Got another hour of this game left in me. Maybe I'll head towards the story mission area. Research lab. Definitely need to cook items. Can't believe... I, I just don't like the two-handed weapons in this game too much. I mean, they're strong, but... Can't shield and they don't have any extra range to him. Okay, well I'm glad I just randomly wandered here. Find him. Hit a blob. Get two blobs. Ooh, we can probably get electric choo choos up, Jelly. If I use this wand. I also have to make him come here so his loot just doesn't instantly fall down. Come on up here. Run out of charge? Well, I didn't electrocute him to death, so it didn't work. There we go, it's back. You probably can't whack with it accidentally or it breaks. We gotta keep that in mind. Too much for electric jelly. We probably can zap it when it's on the ground. Let's try that real quick. This is all plateau. Area. Drop a handful and see what happens if we zap them. Electric. We defunk it. Alright, yeah. I guess I'll head back towards the stable and see if I can get upgraded first. And then just head towards this way. 
I don't know if I want to fast travel or not. Yeah, I kind of want to want to time tonight. One thing to do in the game is uh search all around the outside of this plateau wall thing. I guess I can zap birds if I want. See if I can do that. Can, but it doesn't do anything, huh? I wonder if it takes a while before this breaks. Or if you can kill horses. I do kind of wonder. Open box. Hey, it's, that's not bad. Are these the same guys I've been saving? <laughs> yeah, it's been the same people over and over. take this road, huh? I haven't been- have I been this way? I have. Like how that guy just hasn't seen me. So I need to ride the horses I've tamed, huh? For optimal effect. See if there's anything in here first. in here, just slimes. Okay, well, let's go towards the stable, which is like a completely different direction.
Um, buy horse. Let's just kill this assassin. She doesn't even have a name. That's how you know it's an assassin. Master Koga? I literally attacked you. Yeah, I already attacked you. Why can't you attack them if you know they're assassins? Why is it of a male voice? Kill. The horse already leave? Okay, cool. We got a horse too. Probably eat some items so I can heal. Eat some stuff. Okay. Yeah, that was, it's pretty obvious when it's an assassin. On you, Meicho. Ooh, what's in here? Hold up. Never been in here. Right, you stopped, horse. That's good. You probably do one, two, three. There we go. That was a weird one. If the horse is still here, I have yet to ride a horse without a uh, with the saddle. Maybe one day. Where am I going exactly? Okay, I'm just going straight. Just killed the bird. Come on, horse. Horse. <laughs> Kill. Just ran him over. So we need to go over this bridge over here. Hey horse, you gotta go straight here. Oh, the stable is on the other side. What the heck? Well, we gotta go back across. Just make this blow harder?
What else can I do with this windmill? I do with the windmill? I have to blow it up. I see. Unfortunately, I'm gonna lose my horse over this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back. I need to keep this horse. Ah! And it rains every five seconds in this game. I'm pretty sure 50% of the weather in this game has been rain. I mean... It doesn't always rain in real life. A new horse. This one's at least better than one of the other ones I got. He's oh. named your horse. What should we name this one? This one was kind of just like the go-getter. I just got him and he helped me get there. Just name him Spot. I guess. And we'll board it, because I gotta do this target practice mini game. I mean, maybe now that it has a saddle and everything, it'll stay, but let's just sand on top here. Got it. Didn't take too many arrows. That was a trickier one. And some of these Korok things are a lot more work. Or I'm guessing a uh, Maraca's guy. <laughs> I keep trying to remember his name. There he is. I won't remember his name. That's you. Area Central Hyrule, Korok Forest is north. Increase the weapon stash again. I just can't have enough, apparently. It's like if you use your bow a lot, you do burn through bows, so I think I'll go through another bow expansion too. Maybe I'll head back now. Alright, so I used up my allotted amount of expansions. I guess it's good. I could have used like one more bow expansion, but that's okay. We're going north more. How did he learn how to get to Korok Forts from these guys if they can't see him? Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Let me... I'm just gonna take a horse out and then go to this stable. And I guess bring him back. And I can walk the rest of the way. See this guy wants anything from me. Yeah. Gal, I guess. Wow. No, the voice... The voice says man. They're wearing a... 
bra. It looks like sports bra. Just a, it's just a shirt. <laughs> what do you got? I mean, I don't really need arrows that bad. Just sell some more. Sell, sell, sell. Sell 20 of them. Thirty-seven. Where's the stuff that's actually worth anything? What's the wood for? Oh, you can make a fire with it. How do you make a fire with electricity? We'll sell four. Alright, I guess I can, um... Ultra rare equipment. Okay, we got a side quest thing. Go back to the village and buy that good armor. And I can literally fast travel there. I could fast travel to this stable too. I just kind of want to try out... Actually, I know what I'll do. I'll go here and then I'll use the horse to get here, maybe. Eh... Take a runner. Why do we gotta do paperwork to get him out? Now the horse is a saddle. Oh, that was a new weapon. Uh... Well, I think fast traveling is still better than a horse right now. My main thing was just, like, if you tell it to stop, will it... Stop. Yeah, I got a dragonfly. Board the horse. All right, so it doesn't. See, it just changes the cosmetic appearance. It seems if you board them. All right, let's go to the village and buy some stuff. Then maybe I'll go on the way to the other village for the next little hour. You find a horse with a high number of spurs. Consider keeping it as your companion. You jump with your shield is out. You can climb aboard it. Whoa, I didn't know that was a thing. To jump and then use A. To put shield out, then jump in A. And that decreases durability. Or like, it wears it down. So you want to use like a crappy shield probably for it. There's the village. Buy some stuff. This is 
is all we need. You can get an extra, huh? You really want. I almost want to get the hood for looks. It's only 60, actually. For these. 500 and 700. I guess we'll buy them so we can get stealth up. Alrighty. Any other shops here? Just a food store. Did we tell him where it was? Dude, I can't find this fairy place. It's so hard to find. Go ahead and rest so it's night. Actually, it's not gonna rain, so I don't have to be in a hurry to do it. Person has beds. Person has arrows, I think. Only. I have 24 bomb arrows. Just buy some fire arrows. I don't know. <laughs> you can get 80 rupees back easy. Oh, hey, there's a thing to cook. That's what I need to do in this game. Hey, while you're here, maybe you should, uh, gotta buy some more, okay? Hey, there's some free apples. Focus. Always focus on them. Already know about Sneak Strike, but I guess this unlocks the tip. Sneak up? Funny, it's like, uh, I've already played not Nintendo games that have stealth. Played Shadow Mordor, so I know you can just Crouched enemies and wild animals. Higher up, the bigger the shockwave. If no one knows how to enter, I was like, why don't you just go down? So if you, you want an extra shield slot, that's just throw away so you can surf on your shield. Alright, let's do some in-game cooking. I can get some health up items. Health back. And a bunch of three heart stuff. That was not three hearts. Now if you do two mushrooms, it's three hearts, which is nice and cheap. Or not. I don't know what I'm talking about. The herbs are good. Get three hearts. Some nutty meat. Yeah, if we just do nutty meat, that's pretty good. We have to have nut. We do have to have nut. Nut gives us an extra heart with meat.
I don't really, I don't know. Like, you, I can get a bunch of stat-ups from food, but it's too much. Tough mushroom thing. Add an acorn to it. Oh, I already have an acorn. Well, let's add a two acorns. See what it does. Add a mushroom. So many apples. Oh, there's two different- oh, that's not honey. That's- I was so confused for a second. Rock salt. Salt grilled meat. That doesn't even do me much good. Well, the cheapest thing to do is just for me to do a bunch of three apple ones. The easiest. Might not be the best, but it's the easiest for me. A bunch of fish, too. Sneaky. Or I can cook these guys. And be sneaky. Hmm. I wonder which I should do. Let's try the guts. I can't carry any more meals. What? I have too much food in my inventory, apparently. Apparently I have plenty of, uh, food items is what the game is saying. I have too many that give me extra things. The problem, like, I have these, yeah, these random... ...that are like, I get cold resistance, and I'm not ever gonna use that. I get sneak. I haven't used I haven't used any of these like ups. Probably the cold up. The simplest one I can get rid of. Okay. We'll just do one more, I guess. A low-level sneak effect. Alright, well... Bought, bought some good stuff. Cooked some stuff. I'm good. Here, I gotta enchant this armor I have, huh? See, look at this hood. See, you can you can have a loadout. Look at the sick loadout. Yeah, you gotta have normal pants. But it's Link. 
This is the guy that trained. A fence is king. I'll stop taking my anger out on the crops. I didn't even see what he actually did, but you know. Let me just buy these. I'm back when the owner is here. Yeah, I guess if I know I'm gonna fight a bunch of enemies, I could just, like, down an attack up or defense up thing. Oh, I can't interact with them? That's what I mostly wanted to do. At least I know what this guy does now. His rupees. Roops, as they call them. Alright, let's enchant this other armor I got. Enhance away. This one is really simple. I need five horns. That's a little too much. <sighs> Enhance twice, they might have a bonus. Now yeah, we just need nightshade for these. If I want to just specifically stealth, I'll switch to having those on. Sounds like something fell over. Alright. I just have the hood on for looks right now. The bandana is the more... The more better thing. Oh, we have double cold resistance? Dang. So this armor is full five, and the Giga one has four. One less. You get stealth up. <laughs> because the item you need for this is just right here. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't have much time to play this game. I guess I'll still try to go toward the... The what's it called? Uh, you know, the what's it called. Maybe I'll try to get a gold beetle. That'd be nice. Let me use a stealth up set. Or if 
I can just walk at him. I can. Nice little radish. Only thing I don't I don't know. You gotta deal with the cosmetic effect for all the armor. Like the hood is just there for looks, I'm keeping the old clothes armor for looks. Cricket? You can just walk at these guys and it's probably like level one stealth. Man. Remember, forgot that ball was a thing. So, so dumb. You can clearly see what it's for. Right off the bat, and the game's just like, no. Can't do that yet. Oh, the deer made the beetle run away. My new enemies, the deer. Maybe the bug I'm looking for is only here in the day. I saw, I've seen gold beetles around. Like, dang. You grab one so I know what the heck it does. Just one. Alright, well, so much for the gold beetle. You know? I guess technically if I can't get over the pants thing, I can just equip these pants. And I still get one stealth level. And it's, all, it's still just one difference in defense. You know. Alright, so technically I want to fast travel over here so I can start heading this way. Let's see if I can just start heading this way and maybe... Just activate the tower for the area, or go in a shrine so I can get a fast travel point. And that'll probably be the stream. You use a fiery attack against an ice enemy. We'll defeat it in one hit. Is there a type triangle in this game? Electric is weak to water. The water's weak to electric. Wow, 
Fire, you mean assassin? Uh, are you an assassin? <laughs> I think there's a road way to get there. I want to do that. Roads are for babies. There's a reason to go this way too, but I guess we got to go down the road. Or I want to go down the road. So many weapon slots. I gotta arrange my stuff. This fire blade's nice and all, but... I wish you could manually arrange to some extent. I put the utilities, I put the hammer and leaf, like in the back. They're arranged by like weapon type. Got spears, then we got heavies, then we got one handed. I don't know. Hmm. I rule horse training competition. Oh. Yeah, I'm busy. Oh. Oh. Prepare for extreme taming. Okay, well, there's an easy way to kill this one. Gotta go full stealth. I'm gonna go for the multicolored ones, that way it's easier to tame. Really? <laughs> Amazing! I mean, to be fair, it was just me and my brother. How many things does he have? Only two. Okay. Bye! Did ever just abandon a horse? Actually, we can, we can take this horse since we're going to abandon it. That sounds pretty cruel, actually. Yeah, we're gonna take this horse, because we're gonna abandon it. I could go through this area. Eh, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna end the stream now. Ish. I'll explore this area, I guess. But, and there's the tower that's probably for that area. Baddies. <laughs> A bunch of enemies. Bye. <laughs> oh. I 
I think once we get to this other village, we're gonna learn about crafting or something. Yeah, there's a lot of this rune stuff this way. That might be like a gate entrance to that area. What is this? A bunch of clay whores, huh? A double axe. There we go. I was wondering when axes were going to be a thing. Battle axes. That's at least a utility. I'll throw out this pitchfork. For it. You can use this probably to chop down trees decently. I don't know. I'm kind of trying to just use weapons. So that way they get broken, but it's not really happening. Because these it's these two-handed. I guess I'll keep the flame blade. This edge this blade of duality, I don't know. To do with. And I have all these weapons that's like they're strong, but they're two-handed. And I don't really like two-handed weapons. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sneak here. My sneak is so high, dude. Come on, turn around. Where are those bugs? I thought that was a bug. Sorry. They can't really see me that well, huh? I got the extra stealth and the... Tall grass. I should just not worry about it now. Let's just bomb them. Who cares about this random archer? There he is. I was like, there's still an enemy for these guys somewhere. Okay, so if you get perfect dodges, you can do silly stuff like that, huh? me. There we go. Surf's up. Apparently. Why are you doing this? So I want to... This shield better it is. How much better? Oh, it's that much better. That much better. Alright, 
Well, there's just like a wide open field to explore on the way to this. Ugh. There's also this way. Probably its own little adventure too. Mm. All right. Well, this is too much. This is too much for like ten minutes. So. Be calling it here. Yeah, so this is the this is the end. I'm calling it, so this is the end of the stream for tonight. Probably will be live tomorrow. Probably, maybe.